Well, how's it going, RB, my friend? And welcome to my TOEFL speaking boot camp course. Hua. And I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddie. I'm getting ready to listen to what you are. You, you're sending me an integrated speaking practice test, right? Let's take a look at your email. You say, thank you so much for letting me learn from you. I cannot wait uh, to, you want to say here, send. You need an infinitive here, right? So I cannot wait to send you my first recording. It is question two of TPO 14. Please criticize me as much as possible. Wow, are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, I, I, I criticized one of my students' responses about two weeks ago, and I haven't gotten another practice test from her since. <laughs> I think I was too hard on her. So, so don't be careful what you ask for. Thank you, and looking forward to your <coughs> comments. <coughs> okay. All right, buddy, so we're ready. I got to have the rubrics here, right? I have your practice test here. Let's see what According happens. According to the letter, Nancy suggests the university to allow students to eat in the class because it can help them focus better on the class as well as make those in-class parties available. Right off the bat, the man completely disagrees with this idea. For one thing, he argues that although it can help the people who are eating to concentrate, it will disrupt other students and make them unable to focus on the lecture. Well, what a complex sentence. You have a dependent clause embedded within another clause. That although blah blah blah. Wow, very good grammar. On top of that, he also points out that it, it's not proper to use the class time to hold party, especially for the last class, which it's really important for students to review the final exam. So, you know, that's why the man doesn't like this proposal at all. Okay. Okay, wow. So, you probably scripted it, which is okay, which means According to you wrote it out, the letter. Right, you practiced it several times, then you sent it to me. Fine, that's good. I like that. So you're really trying to pay attention to your topic development, how you're organizing and developing your ideas. So my first impression is three. I'm going to say 3.0 out of four, about 22, 23 points out of 30. So I'm going to listen to it one more time. I think the biggest issue that might bring your score down a little bit, it's the topic develop, no, the delivery area, either the th the three or the two exhibits pacing may require significant effort. You have some problems with uh, pacing, problems with tone, a few pronunciation issues. Let's listen to Nancy it one more time. Nancy suggests the university to allow students to eat in the class because it can help them focus better on the class okay. as well as... Well, instead of saying Nancy, who the heck is Nancy? Why are we starting off with Nancy? Uh, I would recommend you start off with the, the listening passage contains an announcement about a new campus policy, and in the listening passage, a speaker reacts to that notice, right? So you, you're a little bit, you don't have to start off saying Nancy. You start off with an introduction that connects the main point from the reading to the listening passage. You can use a compound sentence to do that, right? Well, why don't you go over to, uh, uh, what is it? It's... Uh, my TOEFL Integrated Speaking Strategies Lesson 1 in my online TOEFL course, right? That can give you an idea on how you can organize TOEFL Speaking Task 2, which is what we're doing, doing with right now. So check out that lesson. Make those in-class parties available. Okay. Right off the bat, the man completely disagrees with this idea. I don't know about right off the bat. That's probably a little bit too informal. I would just say, however, or on the other hand, the man completely disagrees with this idea. And he holds two reasons for these opinions or something. For one thing, he argues that although it can help the people who are eating to concentrate, it will disrupt other students and make them unable to focus on the lecture. Good. This is a tough sentence. 
It's difficult because you got an independent clause plus two dependent clauses. Not easy for anybody to speak. I'm, I'm amazed that you even put the grammar together and you, you did it during this response. That's even amazing that you're able to do that. But the pacing wasn't that great on that, right? So you had a little bit of problems. You had some problems with your pacing. You can learn more about pacing in my online course by going to thought groups and blending. I think that's pronunciation lessons. 41 through 44. I'd like you to check that out. On top of that, he also. What? 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 What was that? YouTubers, did you guys hear this? What did he just say? Let me listen again. People who are eating to concentrate, it will disrupt other students and make them unable to focus on the lecture. Okay. On top of that, he also. On top of that, right off the bat. Now, I would say they're furthermore, moreover, or in addition, right, which are more formal words, right? What you're doing here is more of a summary, an academic summary, so I would use more formal transition words to help show the connection of your idea. Points out that it, it's not proper to use the class time to hold party, especially for the last class, which is really important for students to review the final exam. Good grammar right there, wow. So, you know, that's why the man doesn't like this. Instead of saying so, I would say therefore, or in the final analysis, or in conclusion, blah, blah, blah. Proposal at all. Okay, so sometimes maybe you might be a little bit too informal with, with some of what you say or the, 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 the words that you're using, right? Okay, if you go over to Better TOEFL Scores, I have some lessons I want you to take a look at, right? So at BetterTOEFLScores.com, you'll see a little search box, and you can find these lessons by using these keywords. Okay, number one is TOEFL transition words, right? That's probably a good lesson for you right now. I'd like you to check that one out. Another one is uh, TOEFL connecting words and you can find another lesson there. So that's probably two good lessons in addition to the ones I've already suggested uh, beforehand. So how's that, buddy? That's your very first practice test in my TOEFL Speaking Boot Camp course. So now you have some things you can do, right? You, you know I'm giving you an estimated score right now, maybe 22 to 23 points out of 30. Uh, I think if your delivery had been a little bit better, I would have for sure scored it between 25 and 27, I think. But the delivery problems, I think, are holding you back a little bit. That's going to be something that you want to work on.